Hello friends. <clears throat> On the 10th of June, we all are going to witness a solar eclipse. This eclipse would be visible from some parts of India, but not um, at Pan-India level. Let me give you the timing for the uh, eclipse as well. See, the solar eclipse on the 10th June would begin <clears throat> at 1.42 p.m. Indian Standard Time and will end at 6.41 in the evening. During this period is the eclipse, the beginning and the end. <clears throat> now, I thought, let me... Uh, Talk about this eclipse because this is this is a very uh, important uh, solar eclipse and the first ecl uh, solar eclipse of this year, 2021. To make you understand what is the eclipse uh, and during the eclipse, what are the placements of planet and in which nakshatras they are placed, then what I will do. My next video will be on zodiac sign, lagna sign, where for different lagnas, I'll be explaining you what this particular eclipse is going to be all about. Let me also inform you that whenever there is an eclipse, in case of a lunar eclipse, there is the effect of the eclipse lasts for 40 days. So we just had a lunar eclipse and the, and, the, and the effects are still going on. As far as solar eclipse is concerned, the effect remains for 120 days. So it's almost four months that you will see the effect of that particular eclipse. But to give you a just a picture of the eclipse as per the Kalpursha Kundli or the natural Kundli, let us look. See, in a natural zodiac belt, we always keep Aries at the Lagna. And in this Lagna, you will see the solar eclipse is in the second house and the eighth house. So I have written 2 8 axis. So it is a 2 8 axis for people with. Aries as a Lagna. For Taurus, this is the sign where the eclipse is taking place. Now, you will see on that day, on the 10th of June, there will be Sun and Moon, obviously, but you will see a retrograde Mercury also into the Nakshatra of Mrigashira. Mrigashira Nakshatra is ruled by Mars. Right. Rahu would be at Rohini Nakshetra, which is again ruled by Moon. You will see for Taurus people, the axis is going to be 1 and 7. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Here it is 1 and 7. This is the axis. Now, I would like to draw your attention over here. This is the Lagna for India. When you make the horoscope of India, this is the Lagna. So we can consider as Taurus over here and we can consider as Scorpio here. Keeping that also in mind. So for, for our country, the axis is 17 one over here. Fine. Now let's move ahead. In the third place, <clears throat> the sign of Gemini, there is Venus in Ardra Nakshetra ruled by Rahu. For Gemini, the eclipse is into 12 and 6 axis. 12 and 6. This is the 12th house, and you will see this is the 6th house. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. For Cancer, you will see Mars in this sign, debilitated in the Nakshetra of. Pusha. Okay. Now, you will always you will also see that uh, 
uh, cancer will have an axis of 11 and 5 it is a 11 and 5 axis for leo for for leo you will see the axis 10 4 so it is the fourth house and the tenth house getting affected for virgo you will see that there is a 9 3 axis there are no planets here no planets here no planets here for libra again it's going to be 2 and 8 axis 2 because second house over here 8 because 7 8 so 2 8 axis for people who belong to the sign libra as ascendant or you can even consider as a moon sign scorpio is the sign which is get, going to get the most effect felt because this is the sign where Ketu has just entered into Anuradha Nakshatra ruled by Saturn and the axis is forming 1 7. This is 1 7 axis. For Sagittarius people, Sagittarius Lagna, it is a 6 12 axis. For Capricorn, where you will see Saturn, which is retrograde right now in Shravana Nakshatra, this Nakshatra belongs to Moon. Jupiter is in Aquarius sign. Jupiter will go retrograde on the 20th of June, but as of now, on the 10th, when the solar eclipse will take place, it's in direct um, uh, motion and would be in Shatabisha Nakshetra. Shatabisha is ruled by Rahu. 12th house, you don't have any planets. Uh, achha, for Aquarius, it is a 410. For Capricorn, it is 511 and for Pisces, it's a 39 axis where the eclipse is being formed. Now, I want you to understand that the most important thing is, see, if you can see all the houses, I have put a tick mark over here. The reason is, when I was studying this chart, I found every house, every Rashi, every sign, has got some role to play in this eclipse. Every house has got some role to play, either by placement or placement in the nakshatra or by aspect, but every house is activated over here. And so I said, this is going to be a very important eclipse. Now, if you look at the eclipse from the point of view of India, which means I will bring the two over here and I will take the 8 over here. Now we have to understand sun and moon. They say it's like uh, the, you know, the meeting of Shiv and Parvati. Rahu is obviously going to be there because that is the reason why an eclipse is formed. So you will see Mercury over here in this eclipse, retrograde communication. Mrigashara is a nakshatra which is ruled by Mars, which is now again debilated. The only thing I want to tell you over here is if you bring two number over here and seven, this is the house of, we say, king, fine, and king rules over whom? Through ministers, he rules over the masses, fine. So if you bring two over here, you see that Leo will come over here and which are the houses that are going to get affected? It's going to be the 4th house, 7th house and the 1st house. All three will, come, will play a role. You will see a lot of things happening in political arena as well. And Ketu over here, as I have already explained to you, Ketu is playing a major role right now. Okay. In Anuradha Nakshetra. So this is all now. Based on this particular chart, I am going to read out for you in my next video how each sign is going to get affected or will have the effect and the result pertaining to this particular chart. So wait for my video. Uh, maybe tomorrow or day after I will load as per each sign. The first video would be from Aries to Virgo. In my second video, I'll talk about from Libra right up to Pisces. Thank you so much for watching this. Do like my video, share my video and click on the notification bell icon as well.